would have actually extended the term limits there. Well, I know that um, those that one wasn't quite as close as some no. of the other ones that we saw. Absolutely. So some, a lot of them had a really well, staunch no. And on I can't that. think about an election where we've had so many results where you're like, man, there's still a lot to be, you know, going through. And mm -hmm. of course, the mail then having a, a big impact Absolutely. on that. But oh, uh, yeah. hey, you know, weather didn't have an impact at all. <laughs> on the election. That's good. Uh, maybe it helped get people out to vote. I don't know. The uh, <laughs> turnout was huge. That's for sure. Checking in this morning, and uh, once again, lots of nice weather in our region. We've been enjoying a lot of sunshine yesterday across the middle of the country. Hardly a cloud in the sky. And once again today, just a couple more clouds around, but still warmer than average temperatures. Live view there from Mount Vernon this morning and sunrise coming up here in about uh, 10 minutes. And gosh, it is going to be another nice day. Even just stepping out this morning, you may want to grab some coffee and get it on the back porch. A little on the cool side, uh, mid to upper 40s right now in a few spots. Uh, a couple other spots hanging around in the lower 50s. But again, a couple high clouds around this afternoon. Primarily some high thin cirrus clouds moving in from the west. Warm weather though sticks with us here for the next few days. Very warm weather for the first week of November and at least it's going to be around through the weekend as well. So if you've got some of those outdoor chores you need to get done, you may want to get that done before the next cool spell arrives likely towards the middle of next week. 24 hour temperature change this morning. So compared to yesterday morning, we were back into the 30s still. Think back to two mornings ago where we had temperatures near records back in the low to mid 20s. That is not the case though this morning. Most of us right now, not only in the 40s, but uh, in some spots even into the upper 40s there. 45 in Mount Vernon, 44 currently in McLeansboro, 44 as well into Ridgeway, and really 44 down the line. Harrisburg, Marion, Carbondale to the south, Golconda, 45 as well into Metropolis, and then to the south into western Kentucky, continuing to see temperatures a little bit warmer. Paducah right now close to 50 degrees. Wycliffe's at 46. Union City, Tennessee currently at 43, and then across southeast Missouri. Frederick down here at 43 degrees. Poplar Bluff this morning, one of the lone spots. Guys, if you're in Poplar Bluff, you're at 39 degrees. That is one of the coolest spots on our map right now. Lots of warm weather, though, taking center stage out across the middle of the country and spreading to the north right into the heart of the Midwest. Now, they've already seen some snow this season out across uh, northern Illinois, back into Iowa, Wisconsin. But look at this morning temperatures mid to upper 40s, even across northern and west central parts of Illinois. High pressure has since moved a little further to the east today and likely going to station uh, right along the mid-Atlantic coastline there. And it's going to bring that southwest wind pumping in this afternoon. Breeze picks up just a bit today compared to yesterday, but still shouldn't be too bad. Some gusts upwards of about, uh, say, 15 to 20 miles per hour this afternoon. Couple high thin cirrus clouds. Otherwise, temperatures running about uh, 70, 71 degrees into southern Illinois, a little bit warmer south of the Ohio River into uh, western Kentucky, likely going to be in the low to mid 70s this afternoon. Clouds stick with us through the overnight hours and into early Thursday morning. So does the light breeze that's going to keep temperatures once again on the mild side on Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon. High temperatures once again running uh, near 70 degrees. Some very, very nice weather sticks with us through Sunday. No rain, at least until the early part of next week and uh, the next cool down looking like maybe towards the middle of next week. We were tracking that tropical system. It may slow down that cold front, so you may see some changes in the forecast here as we get a little bit closer. Something, of course, we're always tracking there. 70 degrees by Friday, 71 on Saturday, 73 degrees as well on Sunday. That is some very, very pleasant weather. Monday brings our next chance for some rain. We're talking about maybe an isolated shower or two, primarily into some of our western and northwestern counties. By Tuesday, that's when we expect that cold front to possibly make its way into our region. 67 there for a high temperature and bringing that rain chance up just a bit as well. Again, that could get pushed back just a bit towards Wednesday. All depends on where that tropical system right now in Nicaragua and Honduras, where it ends up tracking towards the early part Part of next week, but uh, by that point, well, of course, it's November. Eventually, it's going to start to actually feel like November. And then back to last week, it felt like November. Not the case right now, though. I think that's all right with a lot of people. Uh, I'm okay <laughs> with it. Thank you, Nick. <laughs>